CTV News at 6 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Thank you for being here. We begin this hour with exciting medical news from the labs at the University of Victoria. Researchers believe they are close to finding a new way to diagnose and to treat prostate cancer. And if they do, they will save men's lives. If it succeeds, this cutting-edge development will allow surgeons to actually see cancer cells, making them easier to target and remove. CTV's Stephen Andrew has exclusive details. This researcher is working on a microscopic tool to treat a very big problem. One in seven men is diagnosed with prostate cancer every year. Many undergo surgery. More than 4,100 die from the disease. Dr. Frank Van Begel believes those numbers can be drastically reduced with this. Nanoprobes, a tiny device that is five billionth of a meter. That's like comparing an apple seed to the length of British Columbia. Van Vegel is working on a study to attach nanoprobes onto cancer cells. By shining a light into the affected area, the cancer lights up, allowing surgeons to see something that so far has been elusive. That he knows exactly how much to cut. And also, if cells are loose and can move and potentially metastasize, he can still pick them up, suck them up. That's where the optical imaging, I think, will play um, a, a vital role. And we have um, imaging capabilities that go deeper in tissue than standard optical uh, methods. The study is one of two major projects at the University of Victoria looking to advance diagnosis and treatment of prostate cancer. Professor Fraser Hoff is working to develop a new drug that can be used against the most aggressive and deadly forms of the disease. So we have uh, provided to us by cancer researchers uh, a target for these drugs, and that target is a protein that fuels very aggressive growth, uh, especially in advanced stages of prostate cancer. As a chemist, our job is to make and test uh, new chemicals that can block the action of that protein. We've been able to achieve in the lab in the last few months is to actually uh, generate the first compounds that do block uh, the activity of that particular protein in a test tube. But these research projects at the University of Victoria wouldn't be possible without a grant from Prostate Cancer Canada, money that was raised here in Victoria through the Movember campaign. It's why the researchers are opening up their labs and talking about their work. They hope by seeing how donations are being used, people will give more money. That money is hugely important to our lab. Um, so that money is, is really seed money that allows us to get our good idea uh, off the ground. The researchers acknowledge it will be several years before human trials begin, but they believe their studies are the wave of the future. Stephen Andrew, CTV News, Victoria.